Well, here we are, everybody. I, this is uh, another video for Sanitarium. I'm going to see how this uh, goes. It's been a little bit janky. My recording software isn't working correctly, and I don't know why. But um, I'm going to see if I can figure it out. I'm going to run this video as is, and I'm going to put it up as it. Well, not as is. I'm going to go into the Camtasia Recording Studio, da 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 da, da and I'm going to work with that. But um, yeah, we're going to just try this out again. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. With it, but uh, here we'll just talk to this lady. That's the first thing we'll do. Here is the woman whose magic summoned me. Yes. Oh, and uh, by the way, I'm very sorry that this hasn't been uh, updated. Like I said in my Door Fortress video, my computer had died, and uh, this is just you know trying to get back on the right foot. Nope, we're going down there to get back on the right foot. Old woman, what is your station? By the great spirits, you have arrived. I thought your arrival to be merely a vision, but here you stand, Olmec, the holy warrior. Praise the gods. Still your tongue, old crone. I asked your station. What is it? Forgive me. My name is Titio. I am the village oracle. Well, I got very demanding very quickly. Okay, what about the oracles? Why have you come to greet me, old one? Where is the village chieftain? He is repairing the village, great one. Forgive us, for we are few in number. Well, why are you few in number? What of this village? Why was I summoned? It is Quetzalcoatl, holy one. He has returned. What nonsense is this? He sits on his majestic throne in the heavens. Not in this pathetic dung heap of a village. Jeez. Oh, no, no, sacred one. He truly has returned, just as prophesied on the wall of sorrow. Aha. Uh -huh. So what about this Quetzalcoatl dude? I know him from... If you speak the truth, then I must see him. Where is he? He stands atop the angry mountain, your grandness. Is using his magic to bring forth the blood of the land to kill us all. So lava? Or magma when it's inside the earth? The Jaguar Temple still stands? Yes. It withstood both the flood and the rock slides. He intends to melt the very stones of the temple itself with the blood of the angry mountain, destroying what's left of the village. Well, that bastard about people who are supposed to be defending this shit. Your tale told of the shaven head Otanmi warriors. Where are they? Quetzalcoatl slaughtered them as if they were children. And now their shades roam the land, trapped here by his wicked magic. Shades, eh? Can they not fight still in these new forms? Nay, fearless one. They are but lost souls, trapped between life and death. Their inability to battle their foe has driven them mad. They rant only crazed things in the voices of ghosts. Okie dokie, Loki. Okay, so apparently shit's going down in the village. And we gotta go stop it, because we're a Aztec god. Badassery. Yeah, that's right. Oh, one of them fell over. Okie dokie. Here we go. Oh, and there's a shade right there. You see him. His soul still dwells here. Hmm. It says I can talk to him, but I don't think I really want to talk to him. Oh, loud footsteps. Oh, dear. Look at all this junk. What's your face? They have honored Quetzalcoatl with this statue, and he repays them with destruction. I don't quite understand why Quetzalcoatl is being such a dick, you know. People revere him. It's supposed to be a... Uh, a god of some sort. Many have been sacrificed on this spot. Some for good, some for evil. Who doesn't like good things? Oh dear. Big head. Big head eye opener. That was weird. Do you see those eyes open? I think I just saw those eyes open. Okay. Quetzalcoatl, you dick. What are you doing here? Oh. Quetzalcoatl has desecrated the bodies of such honorable warriors. Didn't you say they were shaven? The heads were shaven? There is the evil god himself. Quetzalcoatl, why have you returned to this place? Omek, 
I should have known you'd come. You follow your God's commands like the dog that you are. Go back down to your followers and wait for your death as they do. You are powerless against me here! You dare speak to me in such a tone? I have enough power to handle the likes of you. Ha! <laughs> Empty threats from a cowardly warrior. What? Cowardly? He looks like Morgan. Why do you seek to destroy those that worshipped you? You were their greatest king. Ah, they are loyal to none but themselves. Soon after my death, they stopped offering sacrifice, and now they will pay with their lives. What? I don't think you understand what they were doing. Why have you left your heavenly throne? For a god to return to this land is a disgrace. I am more than a god. I am a warrior. That idle throne is an empty chair that threatens to devour my eternal soul. I will conquer this world one village at a time until all are destroyed. And then what? When there is nothing left to conquer, what will you do? I grow with the power of the souls I consume. When this world has been stripped of all its souls, I will be the most powerful god of all. I will conquer the heavens. <laughs> Well, you sure are taking a long time to destroy one tiny village. I mean, really. I guess we haven't even seen the village yet, but it doesn't look very big. Be a man and kick some butt faster. I don't quite know the reason as to why he's taking so long to kill everybody. I mean, he already killed everybody that was probably holding a weapon. Big head. Big pole. An unhappy spirit. Oh, dear. I don't want to talk to him quite yet. You can see a uh, temple here. It's a jaguar. Most sacred warrior, you must find blood that springs from a holy heart and a heart which does not bleed. Place these two offerings in the bowls before you, and then you may enter the temple of the jaguar. Okay. Um. I guess we'll go find those things. I like how I walk down the stairs. Like, my arms are just hanging at my sides. It's useless. Let's, see if, let's talk to this guy right here. Maybe we'll be able to knock it over. Spirit, what say you? Okay, just for the sake of um, sanity, I'm going to skip. I'm going to spend about 10 seconds, depending on how long it is, to allow you guys to read what they say, and I'm just going to click through it, because I'm not going to listen to it. Quetzalcoatl, dot, 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 dot. Big pole, dot, 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 dot. Shiny head, dot, dot. And I'm not going to wait for that crap. Just like I made you wait for it. But, what um, name did you go by in this so world, I'm fallen it, hero? Most likely. A fisherman? Yes. And husband? You have a husband? That seems odd. Why do you stand here, fallen one? What does this totem mean to you? Stand where I fall. Temple of wind protects even in death. Uh huh. So he's guarding the totem. He, he died, but he's guarding it because he's a lost soul. Da -da 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 -da. I mean no harm to the temple. I am Olmec, holy warrior. Lies and deceptions, like evil one, none may pass. You are confused, lost warrior. I speak the truth. Quetzalcoatl is my enemy as well. Step aside so that I may visit the temple. Rovers. So I gotta do a test. What is this I test? I accept your challenge, Shade. What will be this test of faith? If never given. Um, well, that's that's not really a test. That's just telling me that you forgot to give your wife her wedding ring back after you got it to the cleaners. A gift for your wife? Of what kind? Lemons, circles, neck. A necklace? Simple enough. I will find one for her and... Oh, 
Okie dokie. Who was your wife? She was my... I meant her name. What is her name? Okay, so he just doesn't want us to. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, so I think we got the gist of that. Um, you know, he's a warrior, obviously. And I think. Oh, here's a village. Oh, somebody fell down. Innocence crushed in the fist of the evil god. That's what happens when you trip down stairs. You just crushed under rocks horribly. The unholy one's power must be great indeed. I suppose. He just tripped on the stairs, though. Oh, dear. Hey, pot. I see something sticking out there. An empty copper bowl. Oh. It must have been used for sacrifices. Hey, but we can fill blood with that. Zah, he has a uh oh, crying lady. Can one woman's sorrow be so great? Woman, what say you? Why do you weep so? <laughs> Forgive me, holy one, for not showing you the proper respect. But I am racked with grief over the loss of my husband. He died in the battle with Quetzalcoatl. Damn it, woman, I'm a god. I don't care about your petty crap. Stand up and revere me, or kneel and revere me of some sort. Who was your husband? His name was Tepic Talk. He was a warrior, but also the village's best fisherman. He lived off the gifts of the sea and devoutly worshipped the goddess of water. The cool walls of the water temple were to his liking, and he often spent his days in deep meditation and prayer there. Sniff. I have seen that the water temple is flooded. Yes, by the evil one's doing. Quetzalcoatl called down a wave of water to destroy it, but it still stands proudly in the water. Indeed. Okay, so you gave me Jack Hall. I believe that is the uh, woman we need to get the necklace to, by the way. And some weird lady there. And this man. I don't think you're doing a whole lot of good hitting a broken wall with a sledgehammer, bro. This lowly worker appears strong and proud. And hitting a wall repeatedly for no apparent reason. What was that, what was that animation? What is that your was silly. Hm. I was the stonemason. Now I am village chief. What are you? And why do you enter this village? I am Olmec, holy warrior. You dare address me in that tone? I do. You may frighten the others, but you'll get no such satisfaction from me. Where were you when we needed you most? Your arrival now means nothing to me. You're too late. Well, that's, that's pretty true, so. <laughs> you say I am late, but you are wrong. Is that so? My precious daughter lies crushed beneath these rocks. The day Quetzalcoatl arrived, I prayed to your god with all my heart. And you come to us now? The warriors are dead. The temples are in ruins. My daughter is dead. Well, that sucks. You say your daughter is dead. How do you know? She was in her hut when the rocks fell. Look around you. Death is everywhere. I have lost everything that is dear to me. Okay, um, ooh, necklace. Mason, I would have a word with you. I have spoken with the spirit of Tepetak, warrior and husband to Kalkihut. The fisherman? His spirit remains here? Yes. You have the necklace that belongs to his wife. Give it to her, or I will shatter your limbs like twigs. Very well. Tell your spirit I will deliver his gift. Indeed. I didn't know that that was how that would have worked out. But that's good. I had no idea, uh, I, you know, he had a necklace. <laughs> Perhaps somewhere else we would have, maybe this lady or this lady out here would have told us. You say you were the stone? Yes. Oops. That is my trade. My bad. Like my father before me and his father before him, I work the earth, shaping it to my will. I am a simple craftsman who now rules what's left of this village. A heavy burden on my weary shoulders. There are worse fates, Mason. I know. I have seen what happens to those who oppose Quetzalcoatl's rule. Hmm. I don't really care about Quetzalcoatl. You give the necklace, that's all I care about, I suppose. Thank you with your weird animation, and you shall go back to your dealing. Hey, free legs! The village is in ruins. Yes, but free legs. Okie dokie. 
I suppose I can't actually go and uh, pick up any blood from those corpses trapped under the rocks. But here's Tepa Talk. We're gonna go give this dude his necklace. Say the necklace. I have spoken with the Mason Dead One. Yes. He will deliver the gift as promised. Honorable Omic Truth, in your breath, I am grateful. Temple awaits you wins. You can't just say that normally? God. Yay, he's gone. Big totem pole. Big head. Big totem pole. And tip. The way is open to me. Aha, bitch. Out of my way. Okie dokie. So we're over here. With the deuce. Rocks. Boulders are no match for the mighty Olmec. My limbs are as strong as my... Oh, okay. Thing. Oh, here we go. Cutscene! You must be the stonemason's daughter. Your parents miss you greatly. I will take you home. Stone giant. <laughs> pet, pet, pet. <laughs> that wasn't silly Go at all. You, my daughter, you have returned from death. Fool. She was trapped within the temple. Had you not been so stubborn and full of self-pity, you would have realized that. Oh, my precious daughter. I'm so sorry. Go see your mother. She misses you terribly. Wave the huge mallet in the direction. Okay, so we saved the daughter. Perhaps this lady would like to talk to us professionally now, yes. No, not a bowl. I don't want a copper bowl. Why does this woman worry so? I'm sure she worries from the destruction that is around her. Woman, what say you? Olmec, you have come to us. Thank the gods for our prayers have been answered. Yes, your prayers reach me and I am here. What is your station? I am the wife of the chieftain. Who is now dead? Or this new chieftain? I don't understand. I have found your daughter, oh, woman. Oh, thank you, Olmec. You have brought hope back into the lives of myself and- Just banter. <laughs> Pure banter. Um, well, we ask about the chieftain. Why was your husband spared? He was praying inside the temple of the Jaguar when the evil one came. By the time the echoes of death reached him, the battle was over. He emerged to find nearly the entire village destroyed. He was bound by tradition to become chieftain. Thus he cannot attack Quetzalcoatl. And now he broods in a dark mood. He sees himself a coward for not being able to die in battle with the others. Okie dokie. Um... What happened during the battle? At first when we saw our revered king back from the land of the dead, we were overjoyed. We thought he had come back to lead us to great victories. Instead, he came to destroy us. Although our warriors fought fiercely, Quetzalcoatl scattered them like broken twigs. After they had been killed, he unleashed his dark magic on us. Do you stop pounding? It's really annoying. Like, really annoying. Oh, God. Um, I don't know if we need to even talk to this lady. I'm starting to go a little bit mad from that guy's repeated thumping. A truly venerable woman. I don't know what venerable means. That's strange. I usually know what words mean. <laughs> venerable. Let me look that old up. Old woman, what say you? I think it just old. means old. I see the oracle was successful in summoning you. Although at this point, I don't see much use in it. The damage has been done. You have no purpose here. What do you mean by that, bitter crone? Indeed. I am Olmec. I fight for the gods themselves. Bitch slap. You sound as zealous as my husband. The fool. What is... <laughs> that like how Olmec just going around the village. It's like, after all these people have lost about everything, he's just like all bitch slapping people going, cry, cry, cry. Listen to me. I am... The Olmec, the holy warrior, I should be revered, you know, bow before me. And everybody's like, fuck you, dude. We just, <laughs> we don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> what is that you are mixing? Nothing important, holy one. 
Ah, uh, that was an. What man would be mad enough to wed your sour tongue, old one? Ah. Just insulting people. The cattle. The witch is my husband. He, he fathered me two some fine race. warriors with me. Oh, uh, yippee. What errand? He plans on fighting that bastard. Undead kid. Mm, yep, most likely. Uh, okie dokie. And the warriors. There is a section in the game where you are required to like recite these people's names. These all these warriors have names, um, and depending, and you, there's a point where you're supposed to you know, like tell one of them all the names, so he'll uh, grant you access to a temple. I will skip all of the um, talking. Look how he just looks around. It's like man, well, that one's kind of yucky. But um, like I was just saying. All right, sorry about that cut. Um, somebody decided to use a weed or a, a leaf blower outside my goddamn window, like right then. A large crystal. I can see something inside. Um, maybe I just hit These them all. These gongs produce music. Ah, yes, I believe you have to hit them from smallest to largest. Maybe largest to smallest. <laughs> so close. We're supposed to reverberate all of these gongs in order to break the glass. You know, we would have thought that the uh, gongs would have, you know, gone off in the landslide, but you know, that's just me. Hit it. Yay! We the got wind totem. Wind totem. Hurrah! I completely forgot what all of the totems do. Looks like he, it's all yucky again, stepping over the dead bodies. <laughs> Let's head this way. Yay. Okie dokie. I think I'm just going to keep recording since I feel bad for leaving you guys in the dust for so long. There hasn't been any uh, re recording and I've been uh, shirking my duties to say, wait, some of their clothes. Oh yeah, see they did, they did move, those motherfuckers. Can me all funny like. Got a bunch of bunch of junk going on over here. Wonder how I can get to that wind totem. Or the wind not the wind totem, the wind thingy. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um hmm. Let me see here. So we have to get the blood of an enemy. We have to get a bunch of stuff here. Let me let me think here. Let me ponder for a moment. Okay, I think I feel like I'm missing something down by the Jaguar Temple, maybe. This must be the Jaguar Temple. No, oh, I feel like I can tip something over. Oh, you know what? I think I might have. I might be missing an area back there. Also, these little tiles come into play as well. Kind of. Come on, get around that, you know, little shrubbery. But I'm not talking to the ghosts since I believe they only just tell you information about their names, which you don't quite really. Need. Ah, here we go. Here's the swan. Yes, this man. Is this old one preparing for battle? Yep. <laughs> Not doing so hot. Old man, what say you? I say that the end is near. Quetzalcoatl will destroy us all, lest I find one who can bring me the pod of might. What name do you go by, ancient one? My name. Is Tezekato. I am the village's last hope. It is my duty as village witch to destroy this devil who plagues us. Um, I don't think you're gonna do so hot there, bro. <laughs> what about the pod? What is this pod you speak of? 
the sacred pod of might. It contains the seeds I require to finish my spell. Yet, there is no way to reach it. Why is that? It clings to the joining tree, surrounded by liquid fire. Not even your stone form could withstand its heat. Uh-huh. What about your wife? She's all cranky. Your wife mourns for you, witch. She knows what I plan yeah. and fears the future without me. She has seen our two warrior sons die at the hands of Quetzalcoatl, and soon she will bury me. So you know you're gonna die. I don't know, is that tradition, I suppose? Why do you sit Cannon here, idle tradition. in the village instead of fighting? What kind of coward are you? Harsh words, your holiness. But I am not merely sitting here. I am meditating to gain the power needed to combat his awful magic. Yeah, you'd be like with that. What about the How does the tree survive if it is surrounded by fire? It is magic, as is the pod that grows on its mighty trunk. However, there must be some... Perhaps... Okie dokie, so that's, that's about the tree, that's the right of the warrior. Right of the warrior? What will that old magic accomplish? It is old indeed, wise one. Though not practiced for many generations, it is rumored to have the ability to make a warrior impervious to the elements. So that's what then I will go through the trials. Perform it. Forgive me, sacred one. I cannot. I don't remember. How does a stonemason know that shit? <laughs> I see temples. the temples are nearly destroyed. Yes. What totems are you? The statues sheltered within the temples. These stat. Okay, so let's just talk about the temples. I'm just kind of skipping How through because I don't really care How do you expect to defeat a god, little man? I don't. He is very strong. You would sacrifice- It must- Yeah, I'm pretty sure must be done is not quite- What spell right. are you preparing? It is called the Spirit Fire. It creates a mystic energy wave formed by the souls of the dead. Well, good luck with that one. I can't wait to see you, you know, burn. Um, I can't go into his hut. I'm trying to think here. I I remember like tipping something over. It might actually, you know what? It might be over here. Ah, yes, it's over here. This this is where we need to tip me over. I remember statue. this. Violent earth magic has made it unstable. Yes. Ugh. Here, boom. Where's the tree we need to reach? Oh, and there's the lava bridge. And I might actually need to talk to all these stupid spirits to get all their names, which is unfortunate. Maybe we can just ask their station really quick. He too has been slain by the evil god. What's your name? So this oh, water damn it. is impure. You... person. Oh, you come back now. Thank you. Spirit! What say you? What is your name? What name did you... Mixquatl. Okie dokie. So he's Mixquatl. I don't recall if we actually need their names or whatnot, but we might need their names in order to. What give does the this right noble warrior. warrior seek? This water Damn is it. impure. Stop! Stop disappearing, please. Thank you. Time to talk to you. Damn it! Bitter defeat. Yes. What name did you go? Sentito. Sentito. This warrior. Shaven head Otani. Okie dokie. You have many things in your name, none of which really. I care to know. What I thought I had a stand on this to make it open. Clearly, this is the temple of water. Yes, no duh. An empty copper bowl. The wind. I thought I put the wind totem on the floor or something. No, I don't quite know. Hmm. Okie dokie. 
you know, I think this has been a quite a long episode, so I'm going to actually end it here. I will resume in a tiny bit. Thank you very much for watching. It's been Colloquial Captain with another video in the Let's Playing series of Sanitarium. I hope you're all having a good night, and uh, I'll see you all later.